Well, hey, everybody, you know, fall is in the air, and as the temps start to cool down, it gets me thinking more and more about spending time outdoors and doing some things like hunting and fishing. You know, we talk about Ducks Unlimited, an amazing organization that's devoted to conservation and hunting, and I'm joined now by Matt Dubnik. Hey, Matt, good to see you. Good to see you. Matt's a volunteer with Ducks Unlimited, been with them for about 15 years. Matt, if somebody at home, like maybe I was before today, thinks about Ducks Unlimited and only thinks about hunting, what would you say to them? Is that, of course, that's part of their mission, but what else maybe? Uh, it's definitely part of our mission, but you know, for 80 years, we've believed that we're in the land habitat, land conservation business. We're very proud of our hunting heritage and, and the majority of our members are hunters. But at the end of the day, we believe that, that more land, more birds, they go hand in hand. And so we believe that if we can conserve, enhance, restore wetlands, waterfowl habitat, that'll in turn put more birds in the sky and, and something we can all enjoy. And when you talk about habitat, we're not only talking about game animals, but we're talking about non-game. I know I love turtles and other non-game things, and your work through Ducks Unlimited is helping with some of that. So I was on the website kind of looking around, and Ducks Unlimited has got a section on there about training dogs right. to go out and retrieve harvested animals. Talk to us about maybe how that goes on, and maybe we'll see a demo of it. Yeah, yeah, hopefully it goes well, you know, but, <laughs> but the idea is, is that we're hunters and, and part of hunting is, is ethical and responsibility and those big buzzwords that we hear so much about, but, but, but dogs and retrievers are, are certainly a part of that game. They're, they're an extension of us as the hunters. They're no different in, in a way than the gun or an article of clothing or, or decoys. They're as much a part of, of our families, but also a part of the hunt. And, yeah. and so we rely on them to teach them how to go get that down bird, how to bring it back and to do that uh, efficiently and, and properly and, and hopefully with both ears wide open. <laughs> and there's an art to it. So as an animal lover myself, I want to show everybody at home how those dogs are trained. So we're going to take a look at that next. Let's see it. Well, you might remember Dr. Mark McConnell from a show a couple months ago about misnamed. Doc, good to see you good again. You, Thanks for being with us. So Rain's here with me. You might notice our friend Matt in the background back there. He's back there. Mark, we're going to talk about some of the things that you do to train this girl. What are some of the things that you do to train her? And then we'll demo some of those. Sure, absolutely. So Rain's a standard poodle. She's trained primarily for waterfowl retrieving. So she's trained to do basic obedience, retrieve down game, waterfowl, and retrieve them to hand in an orderly and efficient fashion. All right, Mark, so let's see your stuff. How about it, Rain? Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a, a, a fallen duck. Uh, Matt's going to throw the bumper out in the water. I'll release her for the retrieve. I'll tell her when she gets to it. I'll call her back with the whistle, and then she'll come and deliver it to hand. Awesome. Rain! Here she goes. Obviously, she knows right where she's going. She can see it right there. She's going to make a beeline for it. Yeah, so this is what you call a marked retrieve. She's seen the bird fall. She's going to get it. When she gets it in, in her mouth, I'll toot the whistle a few times, which is a standard recall whistle to tell her it's time to come back. And then she'll deliver it all the way to, to, to heel, which is right beside me. And then she'll hold the bird until I tell her to release it. Good girl. Amazing. Look at this. Obviously, you can't have a dog that's too ADD with this. I would never be very good at this. I'm too distracted, as I'm sure our friends at home can only imagine. But look at her coming on here to get to see this technique, blowing that whistle, and then I'm sure Mark's going to give her all kind of praise when she gets back in here. Yeah, she works for the retrieve. That is her reward. And then when she delivers it to hand, I'll give her, after she releases the bird, I'll give her a great deal of praise. And uh, she'll be as happy as she can be because this is what she's trained and bred to do. All right, so we're back on land, got rain back up here and dried off for time purposes, got to see her retrieve something in the water. Now Mark's going to show us how rain can retrieve something on land. So Mark, what do we got out here? We've got three dummies out there. We're going to show, show you all how we send to a downed bird that they haven't seen. So I'm going to send her out there, stop her on the whistle, and give her a hand signal to direct her towards the fallen bird I want her to pick up. Man, I can't wait. Let's see it. Dead bird. Rain. So Mark gives the whistle to get her to stop and look at him. Now he's going to do a hand command. Turns back and looks at him. Goes to the right with the hand command. Brings her back. There's that toot 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 bringing her back. 
Y'all, this is just amazing. The power of this dog and the training through Mark. It's amazing to think that all of these resources on how to train these dogs is available through Ducks Unlimited. It's been a blast to get to see this stuff today and get to see how an amazing animal like this works. You all know what to do. While you're online checking out Ducks Unlimited, check out the Georgia Farm Monitor Facebook page. Check out the Ranger Nick Facebook page. And until next time, for all of us, I like to remind you, enthusiasm is contagious. So pass it on. Y'all, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you back here again next month. See ya.